This is where you say, hey crazy old man, what are you putting gloves on for in the middle of April after Easter? Well, because I'm sitting in the middle of a snowstorm. An unexpected snowstorm at that. But I am sitting by a safe harbor with the lighthouse just over my shoulder. And why? Well, it fits the theme of our video today just perfectly. Because where else would you want to be but in a safe harbor in an unexpected storm? So that's the theme of our video today. And the title is according to the hymn, O oh Lord my God, I cry to thee. O oh Lord my God, I cry to thee. In our distress thou helpest me. My soul and body I commend Into thy hands thine angels send To guide me home and cheer my heart When thou dost call me to depart O Jesus Christ, thou Lamb of God one slain to take away our load. Now left thy cross, thine agony, avail to save and comfort me. Thy death to open heaven and there, bid me the joy of angels share. O oh, Holy Spirit, faithful friend, grant us thy comfort to our end. When death and hell assail us sore, and sickness never leave us more, but bear us safely through our strife, as thou hast promised into life. Amen. Well, you might say, well, Pastor Freddy, what's that hymn got to do with safe harbor in a storm? Well, quite frankly, everything. His disciples woke Jesus up, and with a single word from his mouth, he stilled the waves and they responded. He even stills the wind and the waves. What kind of man is this? He who is, who was, and who is to come. The God who never changes. We find ourselves now, today, in the middle of April. It doesn't matter where we are, in a snowstorm in the middle of Ohio, or a sandstorm in the middle of a desert. The same God, his name is Emmanuel. God is with us, is still with us, regardless of the circumstance. They were deathly afraid on that see that day with their eyes they observed being tossed and to and fro in the storm and so it seems that way to us today but the same Jesus says who stilled those waves that day to us today come to me you who are burdened heavily and I will rest you not necessarily that I will give you peace to all your anxiety or comfort to your hunger or clothing or satisfaction for all your earthly needs though indeed he may but he gives you his person he says I will not give you rest but I myself will rest you you see he says he who believes in me will never die indeed who he who believes me I will love him and my father will love him 
and we will come make our abode with him. And we will be with him. And lo, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And so your comfort is not a church building, not even a congregation, a group of people whom we dearly miss, but it's the person of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. He is your comfort. He is your solace. He is your guiding light in your way in this storm. Cling to him and you will never be disappointed. You will never be disappointed. You will never be left alone. He is your harbor in this and every storm. God grant you to believe it for his holy name's sake and to his glory. Amen. Pray with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. The Lord God says there in that sixth chapter of Numbers, thus I will bless them. God grant you to believe it for Jesus' sake. Amen.